guys, my name is Marie and welcome to my kawaii world. So in this video, I'm going to share with you how you can get exclusive for sale in Japan only merchandise shipped to you no matter where you live. So a lot of people ask me where I get my cute Japanese stationery and some of the cool stuff that I have on this shelf back here. And I'll be honest with you, I lived in Japan for three years and I accumulated a lot of this stuff while I was there. However, for those of you who don't live in Japan or can't travel to Japan, I would recommend using a proxy buyer. And I decided to reach out to Bai. So full disclosure, Bai is sponsoring this video and they've paid for most of the items that I received in this shipment and also provided me with reimbursement for shipping costs and fees. So you can buy just about anything online but the problem is when you're purchasing things from Japanese websites a lot of times you will need a Japanese credit card as well as a Japanese address to receive the packages. So unless you have a friend that actually lives in Japan and can act as your proxy it can be really hard to purchase those things. That's where Bai comes in. They will act as your friend with the fee of course and they'll receive all the packages that you purchase consolidate them and then ship them to you so you can save on international shipping costs of course there are fees involved with everything the service is not free however if you've had to cancel your trip to japan like i have then maybe you want to treat yourself with a little something from japan and if you actually went to japan you'll be spending a lot more money on flights and hotels and all that other stuff so maybe the fees balance out in the end so I'm going to do a haul and show you guys all the cool stuff that I got, but before I get started, I just want to say that if you guys want to sign up for a Baiyi account, make sure you use my link in the description box and you will get a 2,000 yen coupon that you can use towards your purchases and that's worth about 20 US dollars. So let's go ahead and get started with the haul. This is a Cinderella popcorn bucket from Tokyo Disneyland and I bought it used off of Mercari, which is sort of like an auction site. Kind of like ebay and the reason that i bought it on there is because i had my eye on this when we went to tokyo disneyland but they weren't selling it anymore it's been discontinued and i saw it at one of those japanese recycle stores called off house and if you guys want to see me shop there it's really fun so i'll leave a link to that video but i was able to find it on mercari and i got it mostly to put on my shelf with my other cute stuff this is a little glue stick that's called fuki kun and I first saw this at the S Light bookstore in Taipei. I don't know why I didn't notice this when I was living in Japan, but it's super adorable. I think this was about 500 yen or about 5 US dollars and I just got it off of Rakuten. So a lot of these purchases were inspired by my trip to Taipei. When I went to the real Kuma store, they had these melamine cups and I had kind of been against these because I can't put them in the dishwasher, but I really wanted the Rilakkuma ones at the Rilakkuma Cafe in Taiwan. And then I saw these Sanrio ones, so I knew that I had to get these over the Rilakkuma ones. And my girls like Kiki and Lala or Little Twin Stars, and they also like cinnamon rolls, so I got one for each of them. In Japan, you can get these at stores like Kitty Land as well as the Sanrio store. Previously, I did a video on my favorite Japanese stationery products, and one of my favorite products are these stick scissors. This looks like a pen, but it's actually a pair of scissors. And I already have a pink pair, but I thought I would just get an extra set for one of my girls to use when they get a little older. I was just looking at all the Sanrio stuff on Rakuten in the same store that I bought those cups, and I saw this cute little Little Twin Stars canister. And this looks like it's one of those mini desktop trash cans that you can sit on top of your desk. But I might use it to just store some of my stationary items in, like this glue or some sticky notepads. Are you guys familiar with the Japanese store called Swimmer? It's a store that's now closed, but they used to make really cute merchandise. And I've been eyeing this chandelier drying rack for quite some time. I saw it in a vintage toy shop in Korea and I recognized it from Swimmer. So I was able to find it on Mercari and I had to get it. I couldn't decide between the pink and dark pink and then this neon pink and bright blue color. So I just decided to get both. But this one was not as in great condition as the first one was. The seller packed it in this soft wrapping that wasn't even protected at all. I don't know why he or she didn't put it into a box, but all of these beaded pieces were 
disconnected from the frame and luckily I was able to reattach them because when I first looked at it it looked like they were almost broken and also one of the candle flames had broken off so this one wasn't in as great condition but I still managed to salvage it. I don't really blame Bai for this though because the seller is the one who did a really poor job of packaging it. The other one came in a hard cardboard box that was wrapped in bubble wrap and then protected by the shell of the cardboard. For my kids, I decided to try out this Pachietti bag making kit and this is a little kit that you can use to make zipper pouches and purses and I got this set which comes with two little zipper pouches, one for each of my daughters. One of the things I like about Japan is they have a lot of these really good craft kits for kids and I think my kids will actually use the purse after they make it. So yeah, I'm really happy with this. We'll see how it turns out when they make it. Also, I got these Planche Neo refill kits and these are basically plastic sheets that are kind of like shrinky dinks, but they have cute designs pre-printed on them so you can make little keychains. And then I also got a dress set and this is super cute. These were each about 500 yen or about 5 US dollars. Something that I really wanted from Japan was the Tokyo Disneyland Mrs. Potts teapot. And I've seen Mrs. Potts teapots sold in the US, but they're just not as cute as this one from Japan. The ones from the US are a little bit different. And this is an actual functional teapot. You can put tea in here and use it just like a regular teapot. And I have the chip teacup, so I just really wanted the pot to go with it. This teapot came with another chip teacup, but unfortunately it was damaged and broken when it arrived. I was so sad. I think I might just glue this together though and use it as a cup to store things in or maybe a planter for a small plant. So I bought this on Mercari, which is sort of like eBay, and the seller really did a poor job of packaging this. It wasn't packed very tightly, nor was it insulated. The thin layer of bubble wrap just was not sufficient to protect this cup, unfortunately. Luckily, I did not pay for this, Baiyi paid for it. However, I would probably avoid purchasing breakable items, especially from sellers on Mercari. However, all of the stuff that I purchased from retail sellers on Rakuten and Amazon was really nicely and professionally packaged. So Baiyi actually purchased all of those things that I just showed you, but I decided to spend my own money and buy a couple of extra things. I really wanted to buy some of these Copic markers because my daughter Sienna is really into drawing and I wanted to get her some high quality art products and these markers are supposed to be really good. This is sort of the starter set. And I also bought these on Mercari because when I was trying to buy them on Rakuten, it said that they could not ship it outside of Japan. So luckily I was able to find this brand new set on Mercari that had never been used previously. And lastly, I had to stock up on my favorite Kaki no Tane snack. So the way that Baiyi works is that you buy something directly off of a Japanese website, then you have it shipped to Baiyi and Baiyi will hold all of your packages for you until you receive everything and they will consolidate your items and then ship them to you overseas. So you can shop from a number of different websites and the big ones are listed at the top of the page. There's Rakuten, Amazon JP, Mercari, and here's the full list of sites that you can shop from. So normally I like to shop from Rakuten or Amazon because they have just the biggest variety of stuff. But this time I tried shopping from Mercari, which is an auction website, and I felt like my experience was a little bit hit or miss. But look at all of these other websites that you can shop from. They have fashion, toys and games, books, CDs, food, sports, and all different categories. So there's really a wide variety and you could pretty much find anything that you're looking for here. Okay, so I'm on the Amazon JP website and if you want to buy anything from this website, you have to get the Chrome extension for Baiyi, which is this. And this allows you to add anything from the Amazon website into your cart on Baiyi and you're going to purchase it through Baiyi, not through Amazon. So let's add this Kaki no Tane snack to our cart. I have Google Translate enabled on my Chrome browser, so I'm just going to give it a minute to translate everything into English. Okay, so now you have all the information. The price is 1,436 yen. 
and we're going to go up to this extension and click on it and then add to buy cart so now we're on the Bayi website and you can see that I have the Kakino Tane in my cart. And I went to the proceed to order page and here you can see a breakdown of the fees. There is a 300 yen service fee and then you have to select your plan. Anytime you purchase something through Bayi, you have to pay a flat rate of 300 yen as a transaction fee. And then if you bid on an auction item and win, you have to pay an additional 200 yen. And that's just for Mercari and Yahoo auction. And then you choose your guarantee plan. And this refers to how carefully Bayi will check your item when it's received for damage. So if you want to know more about the plan, you can click on this link. The standard plan includes insured delivery and inspection, and the light plan doesn't include any of those things. And there are a couple of plans in between. So the standard plan will offer a full inspection of all of your items and a refund if anything is damaged or it's not what you ordered. The insured delivery plan is one step below the standard plan and that includes inspection but there are some situations that are not covered by insured delivery and those are outlined right there. And then there's the inspection plan and they offer a refund if you don't get what you actually ordered. For instance, maybe somebody sent you the wrong item. And then last of all, we have the light plan, which doesn't offer any refunds. You get what they sent you, and if it's broken, then it's broken. And then we have shipping. We have domestic shipping costs, which is the cost for the merchant to ship the item to buy. And sometimes you could get free shipping. And then you have international shipping costs. And if your products are valued at over 200,000 yen or 200 US dollars, then you'll have to pay a customs clearance commission fee. So you want to keep your purchases under $200 to avoid additional fees. Once all of your packages arrive at Bayi's warehouse, you will ask to consolidate the packages so that they can send you one big box instead of multiple small boxes. And that consolidation fee varies from about 500 yen or 5 US dollars to 1000 yen or about 10 US dollars depending on how many packages you have. It takes a day or two for the package consolidation request to be completed, but once it is done, you are ready to choose your shipping method. And there are multiple shipping methods with various prices. The shipping costs will vary depending on how heavy your package is, how big it is, and also where you're sending it. So in my opinion, the best types of things to buy from Bai are items that you can only purchase in Japan, like this teapot or the swimmer chandelier or the Cinderella popcorn bucket. A lot of things you can still find in the US, but they'll be twice as expensive. And if you purchase them through Bai, you might pay a little bit less, but you're not going to be saving a whole lot because you do have to pay those shipping and transaction fees. The best way to shop through Bai is to buy things that are really rare and collectible and that you you just can't find in your home country. Just wanted to remind you guys to sign up for Bai using my link if you want to get a free 2000 yen coupon which is worth about 20 US dollars. Thank you so much Bai for sponsoring this video and I also want to say thank you to my Patreons and channel members for your continued support. I really appreciate it. I'll talk to you next time. Bye!